Now, I have um, some beautiful little malachite carvings here, some um, animals. We have, uh, there's a, a dog, um, there's, well, a dog's head, actually. <laughs> the rest of him sort of had an accident. Uh, uh, we have a frog, a lion, a little bird, and a cat. Um, so we're going to do a little experiment on one of these to see if we can get the copper out of the malachite here. <laughs> oh. oh, good. <laughs> I can relax now. Right. Uh, well, let's take, let's take the dog's head mainly because my mum quite liked the other ones and she wanted one of those, but anyway. So let's take um, Chip here. And we're going to heat him up. Now, take Chip. And at the moment he's this lovely green colour. But if I heat him up in the, in the Bunsen here, the copper carbonate that he's made of is going to decompose. And it gives out uh, carbon dioxide gas and forms copper oxide. And the copper oxide, we'll know when we're beginning to get some copper oxide, because the copper oxide is black. Okay. So actually already you can see that the bottom of the malachite here, we're getting a, a black coloration, and this is as the carbonate is decomposing and forming copper oxide. And we can look at the equation for this. So here we have the equation, copper carbonate plus heat forms copper oxide and co uh, carbon dioxide gas. Right, well, I'm going to heat him up a little bit more strongly um, over here on a piece of charcoal. Remember, the charcoal is um, impure carbon. Right, so let's just heat him up strongly. So he's decomposing and forming... Oops, there goes a bit of him. <laughs> forming copper oxide, so he's certainly very black now. But the copper oxide is going to, well, it begins to react with the um, carbon in the charcoal. And the carbon steals away the oxygen from the copper oxide, forming carbon dioxide, leaving behind the copper. And this is the, well, essentially the process that's used to make many metals. You heat up the metals with some carbon, <coughs> and the carbon steals away the oxygen from the ores, leaving the metal behind. I think I'm doing quite nicely. We're beginning to get some molten copper forming. All right, let's see if I can pick up this with the tongs. Okay, thank you. And put this into some water here just to cool it down. And if I pick out the lump that we've just made here, actually there's a nice bit in here I can see. Yep, you can see the reddish colour here of, well, the copper metal. Okay, so we've actually converted, well, first of all, the copper carbonate, the natural mineral, the malachite, into copper oxide by driving out the carbon dioxide, leaving copper oxide, the black colour, and then the uh, oxygen has been stolen away from that using the charcoal here from the, the carbon, stealing away the oxygen to reveal the copper. And these are some lumps that we made in the earlier lectures. So copper metal. And of course, copper was the first metal that was chemically prepared. After the Stone Age, when people were using stone tools, flints as axes and spearheads and so on, after that um, we came the Bronze Age or the Copper Age, and this was because copper was one of the easiest elements to actually obtain. It's much easier to make than iron. So after the Bronze Age came the Iron Age, when they had higher temperatures available to make iron from iron oxide. But here we're making some copper. Here is the reaction there for the copper oxide, having its oxygen taken away by the carbon to form carbon dioxide, but leaving the copper behind.